I'm wondering, have any of you seen Catch Me If You Can? It was a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. He played the role of a guy called Frank Abidal Jr. Frank Abidal Jr., who's now in his 70s, still works for the FBI in America. Why? Because he was the greatest con man of his time. Do you know how he conned people? He stole a uniform, a pilot's uniform. Pan Am at the time was the biggest airline. He put on the uniform and what do people believe? <laughs> this guy's going to be a pilot. Let's let him fly the airplane. Next thing, he went on to be a lawyer. And then he went on to pretend he was a doctor. The point of my story is, people believe what they see over and above what they hear. We all have an idea in our head of what a successful man or woman looks like. We have an idea of someone who works in financial institution looks. In one of the big banks, they're often in darker colored suits, smartly dressed, the women are sporting heels. Then we've got an idea of people who work in the creative industry and how they may dress. Further on, our mind goes to, what would a Rastafarian look like? Right, so we meet a person with dreadlocks and immediately we're going to assume, I wonder if that person smokes a lot of weed. Or we meet someone with a lot of tattoos, he's got his jeans way down low, he's got his peak turned backwards, lots of gold chains. You're like, yo, that must be a brother from the hood. Well, not necessarily. But of course, we all base assumptions on how people look. Let me show you the slide I use when I'm at corporates. You see these two coffees? Well guys, they're the same coffee. But if you ask anybody in the audience that I'm in front of to choose one or two of these American branded coffees, they're gonna choose the more attractive looking bottle. Now, don't get me wrong, this whole business that I do doesn't just work if you're massively attractive or skinny or tall, etc. This is about making the most of what you have and understanding what you communicating with your image. Understanding that your image may be holding you back, like it was just a couple of weeks ago. Okay, about six weeks ago, so more than a couple of weeks ago. That I had a client I couldn't understand on the phone when she said to me, she's not able to get a position. She's retrenched. She's in her late 30s, right? Prime of her life. MBA. Worked in HR for 10 years. Unbelievably successful. Company was sort of going through its changes. She loses her job. I'm like, come and see me. Come in, come to my studio. So she does. And when she walked in, I was like, oh my goodness. I feel like we're like channeling Twilight, the movie. You know, got that whole like goth feeling. So we had to speak to her and say, look, you have an unbelievable skill set, but this kind of black hair and hectic eyeliner and the nose ring may just have to go if you're looking to go to some of the big corporates and apply in the HR department because you look more like you should be in kind of a hard rock band. She got it. We worked on her. We styled her up a bit. Guys, you may be thinking, well, that's the true her. The true her was the goth person. We can all be many things. We're multidimensional beings. So it's not about being inauthentic. It's about being the best that you can be. And also understanding where you want to go with your life. So needless to say, this lady was open to kind of a bit of blusher and not looking so spook white. She was happy to trim her hair and get rid of the severe black on her face and update her clothing, which sort of a very kind of biker chic or maybe drop the sheep, just bike her. I'm happy to say she has a position. Voila, just like that. Of course, she's more sellable, isn't she? Why, when we go to pick and pay or checkers, do we see their jungle oats? It's the same jungle oats. So it says, same product, same great jungle oats, new look. Why, why do companies spend billions on packaging? They spend billions on packaging even though the product stays the same, because they know that we all have to keep up to date and understand what's hip hop and happening. And just making the best of ourselves in an authentic way. So, I just wanted to share that with you. Know who you are, know what you're communicating. Be aware of your stereotype, because people will think you have those sort of personality traits, right? If you want any more information, please give me a call, send me an email, and I'd be happy to help. Have a super duper day.